If better chewing efficiency is desired, special attention to the size and localization of the occlusal table should be paid during tooth preparation. Ideally, maxillary molars should possess an occlusal table of 60% of the tooth's vestibular palatal width and should be kept slightly close to the vestibular region. By this way, the functional cusp can be designed wider. For mandibular teeth, the occlusal table should be close to the lingual side so that the buccal functional cusp can be prepared more voluminous. With appropriate table width and strong functional cusps, the food can be easily crushed and extreme oblique forces on teeth are avoided. Preparation should be in accordance with the anatomy and inclinations of the tooth. When a monoplane preparation is performed on functional cusps, the occlusal table has to be prepared wider, leading to excessive forces to be transmitted to the tooth. Especially, the widened table towards functional cusps may lead to tipping forces on the abutment tooth during chewing. This triggers the proprioceptive mechanism resulting in either decreasing the chewing efficiency or causing malpositioning of the tooth. Thus, we should prepare the functional cusps, namely maxillary palatal and mandibular buccal cusps, in two planes. By this way, we can create enough space for the dental technician to correctly design and position the occlusal table.